a warm welcome to Hydro and Nobel Peace Center's Real Business Seminar. Today, we will explore a theme that is really close to my heart, the role of business in society, and how it can contribute to protecting and strengthening human rights. And therefore, it is with much appreciation and gratefulness that we today have a full house and a waiting list and many, many viewers watching us on screen. Again, warmly welcome. Norway is a country where people love watching football. And yet, I know numerous of people in Norway that refuse to watch the World Cup as their own private protest. I am encouraged to see how the World Cup in Qatar has put human rights abuses by governments and businesses on the spotlight. I have never seen this level of attention and reaction from ordinary people. We at the Nobel Peace Center believe that ordinary people can do a difference. Ordinary people standing up for their rights and the rights of others can make all the difference. This year's Nobel Peace Prize to civil society organizations and human rights defenders in Ukraine Russia and Belarus reminds us of the critical importance of civil society to protect our human rights if we wish to nourish strong democracies. And we do want to protect our democracies since they are statistically the less likely form of governments to go to war. We must hope that this example and many other examples of people, companies and governments keeping human rights high on the agenda will make it easier to achieve lasting change. I see opportunities and threats here. Sustainability, corporate social responsibility, environmental and gov social governance, sustainable development goals, all these points to a growing recognition that companies must and can play an important part, important part in protecting human rights. More and more companies see this not only as important uh, for their reputation, but also uh, to their bottom line. Companies are cleaning up their supply chain. They are integrating diversity into their structures. They are setting higher ethical standards. But at the same time, there is much work to be done. Between the evidence we see of child labor in dangerous supply chains, surveillance-driven business models in the tech world which threaten privacy, all the way to the inadequate COP27 outcomes, we not, must not be complacent. Therefore, I feel strongly that everyone that has the slightest power or means need to ask him or herself, what can I do to support and protect the nature, society, human rights, and democracy? And I feel it's particularly important uh, if you are heading an organization or a business. How will I lead in order to be part of the solution rather than the problem? There is much businesses can do. In fact, we cannot tackle the world's enormous challenges without business. Therefore, to shed a light on this issue today, I'm very proud to say that we have speakers here today with a vast and impressive competence. The aim of today's seminar is to start a positive dialogue around how businesses and society together can navigate the new world order for the benefit of humankind. Let us take this opportunity to learn and to see how we can do what is in the words of Alfred Nobel's will to the greatest benefit of humankind.